Hey there friends, I'm Nicole. I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. And in this video, I'm gonna share the four worst fake healthy foods that are making you fat. And the first one is avocado. Yes, they are a good healthy fat. They have good nutrients, but they're loaded with calories. For example, a large avocado is 320 calories. So if you're adding this to your meals or having it as a snack because you're trying to eat healthy and lose weight, but you're not portioning it out, you could be consuming hundreds of calories without even realizing it. And I'm making this video because I made this mistake. At the beginning of my weight loss journey, I thought that if I only bought and ate foods marketed as healthy, that I would lose weight because they were healthy and healthy foods are good for weight loss. What I didn't realize was I was eating healthy foods for quite a while and I wasn't getting any results. And I realized I couldn't just eat the healthy food. I still had to measure it out because I needed to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. Healthy foods, a lot of them contain a lot of calories. So you can still enjoy them, but you do have to measure them out so that you can stay in a calorie deficit and lose weight. And a lot of you often comment under my videos, I'm eating healthy, but I'm not losing weight and I don't know why. You could be doing what I did, eating healthy food, but only focusing on that instead of measuring it out as well. For a lot of these foods on our list, actually, I thought the same thing. It's healthy, therefore I can eat as much as I want of it. But just because because it's healthy or marketed as healthy doesn't mean it doesn't contain a lot of calories. I still enjoy all of these foods that I'm gonna share on the list, but I always portion them out or make sure they're within my calories. And how I like to enjoy avocado is through guacamole. And I like getting those holy guacamole, the mini cups, because they're already portioned out for you. But one of the mini cups is 100 calories. So what I like to do is divide it into two. That way, I'm only eating 50 calories and I'll have that cup for two days. That way I get two servings out of it, last longer, but also I'm eating less calories, still getting the benefits of the avocado from the guacamole and stuff, but I'm still eating low calories so that I can lose the weight. So when you eat calorie dense foods like avocado, they may be good for you, but it is hard to stay full because you often only get a little bit for quite a bit of calories. And that actually brings me to the next one, number two, which is nuts. Yes, they are a healthy food. They're a great healthy fat. They contain a lot of really good nutrients, but you don't get a big serving. Um, you only get a little serving for a lot of calories. And I've got two examples for you. So. I looked up the Tasty Travels. It's Joe's Tasty Travels from Walmart. They're bags of different types of nuts. So one of them, the roasted cashews, a third cup, this is what a third cup's lo cup looks like, 320 calories for that. So that's literally a handful, hundreds of calories for that. And then the nothing but almonds is again for a third cup. 330 calories. So how I like to enjoy nuts is I'll chop them up very small and I'll only do one to two tablespoons. That way I'm still enjoying nuts, I'm still getting the health benefits, but I'm not getting the massive amount of calories. The third one, salad. Yes, totally healthy. However, you start with a healthy base, the lettuce, the veggies, the lean protein. But when people start adding things to make it taste good, that's when you can load it with calories and not even realize it. So for example, when I was making a salad for my lunch at the beginning of my weight loss journey, thinking if I just eat healthy food, I can lose weight. This is kind of an example of what it looked like. And I looked up the calories just to give us an idea of what we're looking at. So I started with a big bowl of romaine lettuce. Then I added some lean protein, let's say three to four ounces of chicken. Then a big spoon of guacamole. Then I threw on a handful of chopped nuts, a handful of shredded cheese, and then enough dressing to coat the salad really well. You're not gonna believe this. We're looking at minimum 750 calories. That is double the calories of what I eat for lunch currently. 
And so I'm thinking I'm eating healthy, but I'm eating way more calories than I'm thinking. So now I still enjoy the salad, but I measure and weigh everything out to make sure that I'm still eating within my calories. And that's the most important thing. You can enjoy all foods, that's what I do. I eat a balance. I eat a lot of low calorie dense foods and then I eat a lot of calorie dense, but I measure everything out and I have a balanced diet because of it, but I always stay within my calories so that I can keep getting meeting the goals and getting the results that I want. I just want to add in a point. There is ways to make healthy food or lower calorie food taste good, like in our guilt-free cookbook. Hint, hint, which I was going to plug actually right now. My sasseruni read my mind. If you guys want to know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, not only do I have the link for my guilt-free cookbook down below, I also have the links to my weight loss ebooks. There are three of them. Check them out. Also, if you are looking for some muscles, check out Huddles HTLT Subs. They sell creatine now. Creatine is so good because it brings the water to your muscle and makes them really full. <laughs> and it helps also, I find um, my muscles are more full when I take it. Use code Nicole to save 10% off your order. And I also, I'll add in huge strength gains when I'm on creatine versus off. Just said it to Nicole today in the gym. My strength is off the charts. We're back on the creatine. Yeah, when I take creatine, I notice that too. I can lift a little bit heavier and do a few extra reps with proper form when I take creatine versus Cre when I don't. Yeah, and creatine is in, like naturally, it's in a lot of red meat, so we don't eat a ton of red meat. This is the perfect way to get it in. Exactly. Okay, and number four, dark chocolate. It is marketed as healthy. It may contain some health benefits. Says but, Hershey's. <clears throat> <laughs> but I hear it everywhere. Oh, when I get a chocolate craving, I eat dark chocolate, dark chocolate. That's great. If you're getting out your chocolate fix, cool. But what I notice a lot of people do is because it's considered healthy, they'll just eat it and not even consider how many calories they're, cal they're eating. And dark chocolate does have calories just like any chocolate. So I took the calories from a lint chocolate bar, a 70% dark chocolate lint. For 30 grams, which is three squares, it's 170 calories. So if you buy a 100 gram, 70% dark chocolate lint chocolate bar, and you eat the whole thing, you're eating over 500 calories. So let's take Nicole's salad for lunch that she gave an example of a salad, a 700 calorie salad and a 500 calorie piece of chocolate. You could get a combo at McDonald's I and mean, dessert probably, for the same, probably. Yeah, probably be around the same. Um, so. What I like to do instead for the dark chocolate, Hershey sells dark chocolate, 50% dark chocolate chips. So in the baking aisle, you can get a bag of them and for a tablespoon, it's 70 calories. So if I want a chocolate fix and I want the dark chocolate, I would go for those. Personally, now, I like the mini chocolate chips. It's 70 calories for a tablespoon of mini, and because they're small, I feel like I get more. So that's what I do when I have a chocolate craving, and so I'm staying within my calories and still getting my chocolate craving out. And so, that, I hope this helps you guys, because I see a lot of people struggle with it all the time. I'm trying to lose weight, so I'm eating only healthy, but, they forget that they still have to measure out the food. You still have to eat within a calorie deficit because the rule for losing weight is calories in, calories out. You have to eat in a calorie deficit in order to lose the weight. And how you, I could be 400 pounds just eating healthy foods. And I was, I was 275 pounds only eating healthy foods and I wasn't losing weight. And I realized it's because I wasn't in a calorie deficit. So. You can still enjoy, like I still enjoy all those foods, but again, I just weigh or measure it out and make sure it fits in my calorie count for the day. And so I hope this helps you guys. You want to check out more fun weight loss tips and do like this and be cute and get muscles and stuff? Just, um, <laughs> you know. How do I be cute? I want um, that part. Well, you're already cute because you're watching, but you can be even cuter if you subscribe and you check out more vids. Um, we love ya. Check out the link down below. Hope you enjoyed this. Now we'll do a little dance for Yeah, <laughs> and I'll catch you in our next video. Swing your ponytail all around.
Love ya. Peace. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.